Welcome, my friends, to the Introduction to Rust Programming video course by Pact Publishing. This course is authored by Saeed Omar Farooq Tawaha. I'm Greg Arnold, and I'll be the voice for this course. Now, in the last eight years of Tawaha's life, he's worked with a good number of companies with lots of new technologies that helped him a lot to perceive the world outside the box. Being a programmer at the core, he always strove to learn something new and create something that no one has ever thought of. Just like you, he's self-taught and much aware of the difficulties, due to which this course has been designed in such a way that he would have liked if one existed while learning Rust language. He's a contributor of various open source projects, such as GE, OSF, FTO, and so on. He also has updates of his LinkedIn account and also his website, www.tawaha.me, with his latest work. Tawaha is currently working as the Chief Technology Officer at an IT company, where he's playing a vital role. He's authored a good number of books, journals, and published papers on different topics. His favorite realm would be nanoelectronics. Whenever he has any free time, he tries to volunteer on Mozilla or Linux. This video is going to lead you to begin the journey with Rust language. Learning Rust is not that hard, but if you want to do something in the core, you need to work and learn a lot. This course is designed to give you the basic ideas about Rust and the multidimensional usages of the language. Section 1, we're going to learn how we can install and run our very first Rust program. We'll also know how we can work with Cargo. Then we're going to learn about the data types, structure of the language, basic parts of the language, needed to build a module, and finally the standard libraries of Rust. Section 2, we're going to talk about Rust toolchain and ecosystem, then know deeply about the cargo.toml file construction. We'll also learn about the dependency management for the cargo. While looking at the crates.io website, from there, we're going to test our cargo. In section three, we're going to know about memory safety, as well as borrow checker, protocol, and pattern matching. Let's not forget trait system, basically how you can construct the idea of programming in Rust. Section four, we're going to learn about communications using Rust, then the different types of message packing and unpacking, then panicking threads and advanced concurrency management. Section 5, we're going to go deeper with random function and make RAND for our robot army. We'll also know some tweaks with Rust in this section, then how we can make our code tidy and make it readable for other programmers for parallel programming. Section 6 and 7. We're going to learn Rust for web frameworks like Mio and Hyper with a little touch of futures and their work procedures with I.O. based examples. You'll know that the web framework will be able to send and work with the local server with simple examples. We're going to learn about WebSockets in Section 7 as well with their applications. Then we'll discuss the types of communication protocols in these two sections. With this journey, you'll be able to walk on the surface of Rust you'll be able to know what you could do with it. But you need to learn from the official documentation of Rust, as it's still under development, and will get more powerful day by day. This will help you to know something new, and with further studies and exploration, you'll be an excellent contributor to this language, or build something with it, which is indomitable. I'm really looking forward to embarking with you on this expedition of a lifetime.